Now in this video we're going to try to see how to set up your vim to for looking something like this uh, which has no syntax fighting no colors um, to looking something more appealing uh, like this in less than five minutes so we, we're going to start by installing a few plugins so the firstly we're going to install the plugin manager from this website so here uh, we uh, can go to that link and how we use this plugin manager is you only got to do is add this line called call plugin begin and this path and then end by call plugin end so uh, you can define all your plugins within this uh, particular bracket so let's add uh, let's start by adding that in our vimrc file so vimrc file is the file that is used uh, as the reference for the vim editor to take into account all the things you want it to have so here we have nothing as of now and then we'll add uh, this particular line and then we'll end the plugin call by adding this line at the end if i can reach there yep okay uh, and uh for first index fighting we will add uh, this plugin called one half so as you can see uh, the one half is this and let's add that here so this is the plugin that we'll use for syntax highlighting. So if we can source this file, so you need to source the Vim RC file first using source command, and then uh, um, it should have come up. But uh, let's do plug install. Now we need to do plug install to install the actual plugin. It says it's already installed because I already have it in my system. And let's go back and see. Okay, here we go. So we have some syntax fighting, but so we are not nowhere near what we have uh, here. So for that, we need to add a set of color schemes uh, from, as you can see, in line 37. And for dark mode, you need to add color scheme one dark. So let's copy those lines from uh, this copy file that I've created here. Uh, and that would be right there syntax on and let's copy that and put that here and let's also source this file great so we have come from something that was really blank and not at all workable to something reasonably really good looking you can also play with various color schemes that are available on their website here to see what works best for you and now we can add the line numbers as well let's say set line number and you also have the line numbers here there are also some other uh, uh, settings that you can add to make it better for example i have the setting from line 43 if you go to line 43 set no error bells that uh, removes the annoying sound that, that you get when you make in when you go too far uh, up or down and let's see shift width we can probably copy all these and up till uh, yeah up to the line 54 and put that there so let's go to the MRC file, let's go to the bottom uh, and let's put that there. So and also source this file again and let's go out and see. Okay, we have the line numbers by default now. So a few of these commands you can change them as per your requirement. So for example, these uh, two are tab related and if you go to line 19, line 19 would be set the line number by default and wrap would be, it will wrap your lines if it goes too far off the screen. And uh, these are for uh, highlight searching. So if you wanna search the word called set, it'll show you uh, the word. And yeah, so we have uh, literally uh, gone in five minutes to looking uh, to having something really amazing uh, yeah thank you